Teacher, mentor, and artist, Richard Duart Brown has a 40-year legacy of inspiring children to express themselves creatively, whether working in urban areas like Franklin County or the rural areas beyond. Duart serves as the resident artist for Transit Arts, a program of Central Community House, and he partners with the Art in the House program led by the Ohio Alliance for Arts Education. For more than a decade, both organizations have relied on Duart to represent them in spaces where young people come to create and learn about the arts. The biggest lesson is as a teacher, as a, a leader, or as a mentor, is when you give someone a brush or a tool, you have to give them the freedom to paint the way they were born to paint, not the way you want them to paint. Sometimes people express quicker than others. Some may take a long time and you don't think because they're silenced that they're not taking it in. You have to know how when to wait for what's coming and when it comes, just let it surprise you, let it uplift life, and let it, let it elevate man's existence. You think that we're teaching students, but actually the teachers themselves and the adults are learning with the students, students and processing their own fears and uncertainties. Caring, passionate, and dedicated, Duart shares his talent generously, teaching students how to create meaningful visual art, all while mentoring them into their adulthood. Kids can recognize when somebody is honest and authentic. Kids can shut down in a classroom. The reason I took to do art the way I is because I was one of the kids that pretty much died in the classroom because I didn't feel comfortable with do art. You can just talk to him. And he'll say something that resonates with you and is so real and is so authentic that it gives you a chance to open up and share what you feel and share what you think, or you'll say, wow, well, this is what's going on with my father. This is what's going on with my mother. This is what happened in my neighborhood. You start to just open up and say, wow, I have a chance to really talk about who I am. And as we got inside this school, all of the children started to open up to do art, started to talk to him, started to come up to him, because I saw that he used his art as a medium to connect, and then you add the vulnerability on top of that you have somebody that opens up a door for conversation. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Duart took on a special project with the graduating class at Whitehall Yearling High School, giving the seniors a proper send off by painting 200 portraits and having them placed on the main street of Whitehall for all the city to see. The project garnered national media attention. They, they all become like family, but this particular guy, um, he never had words to say, and I think his brother passed away when school graduated, and he was friends with another person after COVID, and what happened, he reached out to me on Instagram and told me that his mother was stuck in Ghana, and it was tough, and I said, well, how you doing? And I said, well, I love you. He said, that's all I wanted you to say. So sometimes they're calling you just to connect, but the idea of painting these young people was just to, um, I don't know, just to honor me. It was just a, a real lucky. I, for, everybody tells me what a great job I did. I felt lucky having the chance to do it. When you get these banners and you look at this, it, it gives me a chance to look at, oh my God, the dreams inside of them. Seeing Duart and how he can find any kid, any kid, and he can make them feel seen. He can make them feel loved, appreciated, heard, all in just five minutes.